All right, YouTube, we're down here in my basement shop. I just got back from running some errands. And initially I wanted to make a video about a, uh, a knife that I was going to buy today, but I couldn't find it at the Walmart. And I'm sure if you watch my channel, you have seen videos about the new Ozark Trail knife and how amazing it's supposed to be for $10, but they did not have it at the Walmart in uh, Dayville. So I figured I'd make a video about this. So when you're doing the kind of work that I talk about on this channel, be it mechanic work, construction, carpentry, plumbing, electrical, whatever, you're gonna find that you need beater tools. And a beater tool is exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's, a, it's a tool that you beat on and that you do really rough, really probably gonna break the tool work. And these are what I find the most interesting. And before any, anybody says anything, oh, that's a brand new screwdriver, it's not a beater. It is a brand new screwdriver. I just got this one yesterday because my long-term beater screwdriver has went missing. And I figured rather than looking for it, the fastest way to refind it is to buy another one. So, so this is taking the place until um, until it shows up, and if it doesn't, no big deal. But um, so, why do you need these? I mean, this is obviously a flathead screwdriver. You can use it to do flathead screws. You know, undo flathead screws. But this is also a blunter version of this, a chisel. You can use this, to, I, I mean, I've used these to chip at chunks of concrete when I'm trying to do, uh, when I'm trying to work with the tops of foundations and it's just a little piece that's in the way rather than grabbing a chisel, I'll grab that and pop, knock it out of the way if I can't knock it off with a hammer. You use it for digging, you use it for prying, you use it for so many different things uh it's a wedge it's a pry bar it's whatever you need it to be in that moment when you're doing electrical and you're doing the boxes this is what you punch the boxes out the the uh the little containers and the, the containers my son just came in and it scared me um there he is doing stuff he waved he's probably annoyed that he's gonna be on youtube um, but anyway, when you're doing, when you're putting electrical boxes in, there's a little punch out in the back where the Romex has to come through. The easiest way to punch that out is with a beater screwdriver. Um, also, if you want to pry the boxes off, like the, the uses for a beater screwdriver are, they're countless. I, I can sit here and I can tell you all the different things that I've done with screwdrivers like this. Um, I've used them redoing the brakes on my wife's old car, prying apart the the calipers when they were stuck. I've used it to get tire I've used some of these to get tires on and off of rims. Uh, they're just an incredibly useful tool in multiple different trades. Obviously the stuff that I do is I, I mean I kind of run the gamut. I do a little bit of everything. And when I lost my big flathead screwdriver, I thought, yeah, you know, I, I probably, I need to replace this because I'm going to use it all the time. And it's true. You, you'd be amazed all the different things you can do with just a beater screwdriver. Now that we've talked about that, we'll move on to this. This is a beater chisel. It's a cobalt, three-quarter inch. That actually has a really, really sharp edge on it because yesterday I was bored, had a little bit of a headache, didn't really want to do anything, but I said I'll be, I'll be productive. So I took this down here. This, is, this usually rides around in my tool belt when I'm doing uh, sheds, and... I said I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a really good edge on that, and I put 
That's quite an edge on there. Flat in the back. Uh, I did all that with this little belt sander. That's what I, when I'm sharpening rough work tools, I'll use that. And now you're probably wondering, okay, you, you got the beater screwdriver. Why do you need the beater chisel? Um, the beater chisel does a lot of the same things that the beater screwdriver does. But where the beater chisel really, really shines is in a carpentry, particularly rough carpentry environment, like framing, sheathing, that kind of stuff. You don't always need a really sharp chisel, but you always need something that you can use as a wedge, as a punch, to gouge something out somewhere, to cut a nail. If you use one of your fine woodworking chisels, one of your nice ones, uh, like people are going to laugh at me that I consider this a nice chisel of Buck Brothers, but this is what I use for, for woodworking. Uh, I got a set of these and I can do what I need to with them. But if you use one of those, you're going to chew up the tip of it. And obviously you're going to chew up the tip of this. This is probably a little bit shorter than when I first got it because I've sharpened it so many times. But um, you want a chisel that you can just beat on. You can break stuff with it. You can use it as a wedge, much like this. You can use it as a punch. You can use it as a gouge. You can pry with it. It's really something that you don't know how much you're going to use it until it's in your tool bags. And then you take it out all the time because you're like, I got to do this. I got to do that. Um, for the time that I was building decks, what I found this really useful for was you get in between the two deck planks and you push one way or the other and you could close up gaps and then you could screw them down. Um, in a shed building situation, very useful for when you're doing the smart siding and you got an edge, like say you're doing a window and it's just a little chunk that's there. You take this, hit it with the hammer and it pops right off. And the reason that I would recommend either a cobalt or a husky, something like that, get one of these chisels with the big handle and the striking cap, but get it from a name like cobalt or husky or craftsman or even get the Harbor Freight versions of it. Because this is, a, this is a lifetime guaranteed tool. And so is this, because it's Craftsman. Um, you're going to beat the hell out of this thing. You're going to be using this for very rough work, very dirty work a lot of the time. And um, eventually it's going to break or it's going to fail on you and you're not going to have it. So you just bring it to the Lowe's or bring it to the Home Depot or the Ace Hardware, wherever you get your Craftsman and Cobalt tools, and they'll give you a brand new one. So these, these are two tools that if you're just getting into working with your hands and doing construction or mechanical work or any kind of trades work you want to have a couple of beater tools a beater screwdriver and a beater chisel and don't be afraid to keep the beater chisel as sharp as humanly possible because you're going to chew it up next time you use it to cut a nail or to pry something or whatever take 10 minutes on a belt on a belt grinder Grind it back to where it is when you get home for the night. Go down in, in your workshop or your whatever, and uh, or your garage, whatever, wherever you have that, and put a new edge on it. As for the screwdriver, I'd get at least this is a five sixteenths. My really big one was a three eighths, and um, I'm sure it'll turn up now that I have this one in my hand, but. Um, I would say get at least a 5 16th, get a long shank like that. Uh, this is a 6 inch shank. And get the flat head like that. It's a pry bar, it's everything. Um, one of the most useful things you can have. The chisel, obviously get the big 
grip like this because this is going to give you more leverage than a smaller chisel because you're not really using this for chi you're not cutting fine joints with this you're gouging you're prying you're beating things into place it's a punch it's a chisel it's a flathead screwdriver a flathead screwdriver is also a punch and a chisel and a beating implement so you need these two tools uh, this one specifically is going to go in my electrical tool pouch because that's where the other one was until it got lost and this one is going right back in my uh, work my work belt my tool belt that I do sheds and carpentry with two very useful tools two very underrated tools two very cheap tools I believe that was 10 bucks and I think that might have been like 15 when I bought it several years ago just get them beat the hell out of them when they break bring them back and I'll replace them brand new so I hope wherever you are, you're comfortable and that God is with you. Thank you.